Hello, this video will give you a closer look at the Course Resources module within our NNU Online 8-week course template. Course Resources appears directly below Module 0. We would typically encourage you to have the students go through the Module 0 and through the Course Resources area before they can move on to Module 1. Course resources include the Question and Suggestions Discussion Forum. This would always be available to students throughout the course, and it's an opportunity for you to let them answer each other's questions, but also you would, you would obviously answer their questions there as well in case um, other students don't jump at that chance. We recommend that you subscribe to this forum so that you can receive an email each time someone posts there. Next under Course Resources is about NNU Riley Library. This gives students information uh, and links out to the main library website, the subject guides, and by the way you can actually ask the librarians to create a subject guide for your given course or for your department, and a guide to using the library itself and an opportunity for students to actually come to the library. It's a great place. Next is about support resources. This includes five main areas. Technical support, reaching the NNU help desk, and also getting help directly with Canvas. Academic support, including the Center for Academic Success and Advising. Writing support, we do have an online writing center where students can upload their paper to get feedback before they submit it. Accessibility support if they need to request accommodations. And then student services. Next begins a section, let me go back out to the module and show you. Um, the next section are about pages that cover things that are common to an online course and you may customize these as you see fit. About devotions talks about um, how students would expect to see devotions in their weekly modules. You may customize anything that you see here and in the actual template pieces you'll see that we have template devotions as well which you may customize. About check for understanding activities um, would be useful if you are perhaps using a publisher's textbook website um, or, or other website where students can go and see um, videos, interactive exercises, uh, digital flashcards, other study aids like that. Notice in this help section down here that we include a place for you to provide useful links to the students. These would allow you to meet some quality matters standards for online course design. Next, about discussions. And this includes some tips for the students. Of course, you may adjust how many points the discussions are worth. You may also adjust this discussion participation rubric. It also exists in the outcome section of Canvas, so if you do adjust it here, I suggest that you update it there. About virtual meetings and office hours, Canvas has a conference tool that allows you to have virtual meetings with students. We encourage you to do that, and again, this provides helpful links to the students to know how to get involved with that. If you want to do group study guides, they would possibly use the collaborations area to create Google Docs. Group projects, obviously you would customize this to match whatever your project is going to be. Short papers, maybe you want students to write um, brief essays. This provides a lot of resources to the online writing lab. Any information you want to post about a major paper, and then assessments. <laughs>